Good morning, it's Pastor Bob Grenier from Calvary Chapel in Visalia, California. What do we do with ourselves and why? Peter addresses that question in his first epistle in chapter 2, there in verse 11 and 12. And he calls us as Christians by a familiar term that God seems to use frequently, and that term is beloved. And so he says, Beloved, abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul, which really means simply for us to refrain from giving in to them, to say no to them, to turn away from those desires that are sinful that come from what the Bible calls our flesh or our fallen nature. And then secondly, he says, having your conduct honorable or conduct yourself in the right way so that the people around you who do not know Christ will, in what's called the day of visitation, glorify God. Peter is making a linkage between the witness we have in Christ as we live the right way here in this world to the work of God in either the day of judgment upon unbelievers when they will truly glorify God, recognizing that in the past they've slandered, they've spoken ill of Christians, or Peter could mean that when God actually visits an unbeliever in what is called the conviction of the Holy Spirit, that their eyes will be opened and they'll realize that the Christians whom they were speaking evil of are indeed God's people whom God has used as a witness in their lives. Regardless of which meaning Peter has, it's clear that we're to abstain from the fleshly lusts which war against the soul. And so we can say no to the flesh, we can win this inner battle, and we thank God for it. I pray that today the Lord will bless you. I pray that today the Lord will lift up his countenance upon you and that the Lord will cause his face to shine upon you, that he'll give you abundant grace, abundant mercy, and abundant peace. God bless you.